What's up guys, it's Ian here in the pickup line for my daughter today. And we're gonna talk a little bit about life with no front sway bar. So I wouldn't recommend this for everybody. I don't think that's probably not something that, uh, I don't think it's something that everybody should do. Uh, the reason why I chose to do it is that this is based on my logic and for off-road purposes only. Obviously, if you want on-road performance, you want to keep both sway bars connected and you probably also want to make them bigger. Uh, so that would be something to keep in mind for that. But uh, either way, I want things to go better off-road. And the Ridgeline has an open front differential. And so the goal being, uh, so I disconnect the front, I left the rear in place because I want to try and drive the front wheels to the ground as much as possible. And that has, uh, I honestly feel it's helped a little bit. I feel like it's more predictable and it lets the clutch pack lock up the rear diff when it needs to. Um, so kind of let the dual clutch rear diff take care of itself and then allow for as much flex as possible, which is not a lot, in the front. Uh, from a driving dynamics perspective, you are going to create more oversteer. So that it's going to be a little more tail happy and a little bit more playful. Uh, I would recommend, I'm not a vehicle dynamics expert by any means, so I would recommend maybe, you know, something like an engineering explained on YouTube or something like that if you're really trying to get into it. But uh, it does produce more oversteer in the vehicle, which makes it a little bit more playful. And uh, I actually enjoy more on gravel roads. So not a lot of uh, this is more of a this is how it feels kind of uh kind of tuesday today so you guys if you have any specific questions let me know basically i disconnected it and zip tied it out of the way if you watch john's most recent video they just undid one bolt and let it hang there so uh, there are some options for if you want to disconnect it and how you disconnect it so either way enjoy the rest of your tuesday and keep bringing these out and I'm going to come up with a new list for you guys to vote on. So until then, be on the lookout for that list.